Hey y'all, it's Kendall. And John. And we're the Antonellis of Antonellis Cheese Shop here in Austin, Texas. And today we're doing reclaim. This beautiful, beautiful baby right here. Oh yeah. We okay. are pumped. Yeah. I mean, oh, like force us to make a video about enjoying reclaim. So you might be watching this if you've already purchased this experience from us like you want to go home and host and entertain and it's just you by yourself or a whole group of friends this is like one of the most easy interactive fun things we do inviting friends over or you might just stumble across this video and be like what the heck is reclet and then watch for five minutes and then let that your mouth will start watering and, and then call us yeah and then you'll call us because this is this is a full experience y'all this is like as far as cheese experiences go this is top I mean, so. it's one of my favorite things we do. I don't know why I'm whispering like this, but just don't tell the other cheese experiences. Okay, so Woo. what do we keep saying? Because I'm Texan and I talk fast, raclette. Raclette comes from the French word raclette. Excuse me to all the French speakers out there. Remember, I'm Texan. Um, and raclette means to scrape in French. So what is this cheese traditionally? Yeah, so this is a kind of a, sort of a mountain style cheese. So this was made in the French Valais uh, French-speaking region of the Alps, um, and it was it was made in a way that it has a high moisture content, and it it kind of has this perfect meltability. And so, uh, so some of the the history of it, the story of it is these uh, cheese makers would be going up into the mountains during the summer months, and they'd want to bring some food with them that could sustain for the summer. And so uh, they'd take this cheese raclette bring it up with them into the mountains and they'd also take potatoes which were very hearty meals so while, cheap easy yeah. and don't go bad don't and so while them. those potatoes were roasting on the near the fire or on the fire the cheese was next to the fire slowly getting drippy slowly getting melty i mean i'm and, sure it's not as sexy as it sounds in person but just like oh, drippy cheese it. in a cabin up in the alps on yeah. your potatoes Oh, it sounds fantastic. I can't wait to go back and, and do the ultimate. So it was traditionally, cheese. yes, um, melted fireside, like by the fire, and then you reclet pieces of cheese. They're come in these whole wheels, but you can buy them in a half wheel and a quarter wheel. Some places have these little barbecuettes when you just buy slices. But we like, we think a perfect indulgence for one or two or have four to five to eight people yeah. over is a quarter wheel of cheese because nothing is more awesome then well, scraping this so cheese off of it. So I will just, a little insider tip. Our last three holiday parties for our company have all been raclette parties. And, and we're so, like, really, does our team want to celebrate with cheese? Oh yeah, yes. this, was, this is what they call for every year. And we do like eight machines, raclette going everywhere. All you can eat, it is outstanding. And so, so we have said that raclette is the name of a cheese. Oh. It is also the name of a dish, which now you know is a cheese melted on potatoes. Oftentimes now you can also get it with pickles and cured meats. Um, raclette, while we talked about the French Alps, also there's Swiss raclette. And so I've heard dueling notions back and forth about where it started first and Definitely. whose is the best, but you can get raclette made both in France and in Switzerland. That's a great point, because I talked about the French, but the, the, the Swiss, Swiss have, you know, they are arguably the deep, that just as deep history with this cheese and and so it's you know again so a cheese a, um, a dish and a machine so which, this is a raclette yeah, machine which I won't touch because it's really hot this is like uh, yes an amazing melt a, um, a melter right here and so they come in different shapes and sizes the machine you might get is gonna potentially look different when you rent from us um, and uh, we just like this particular unit, these, the shape of it, because for a six person, eight person party, it's ideal. This is about communal eating, coming together, breaking bread together, and melting cheese. So for those of you that did rent, a uh, quick little tutorial here. This is- You a, do the hard work, I'm just yeah, gonna, just gonna drink. Eat. So this is a beautiful quarter wheel of raclette. Oh. So about eight pounds of cheese, seven pounds. Uh, what we wanna do here is, you want to pick them up and show them how that piece came? Oh, okay. well, now it's in there. Look at that. So the, the piece has these points on if that it. that fell out, don't worry, yeah. you didn't break it. It's supposed to move. It's supposed to. And then you really just want to evenly place this cheese so it has the best chance of melting right underneath this fire. So we're going to put it under here. It'll just take about a minute or so it's for the meltiness to perfect start. Perfect little broiler. Um, another pro tip, 
we let our cheese come to room temperature before we started melting it. Yeah. So I would say about two hours, right? Yeah. Let it come out. The if it's at room temperature, that sucker will melt evenly and you're gonna melt get better quickly. scrapes. Um, it doesn't mean if you didn't do that, you can't. It just means it will take a little bit yeah. longer and it will maybe heat unevenly. But hey, melted gooey cheese, it's fine. Anyway. You're gonna, it's gonna taste just as wonderful. So while that's going, if you rinse it from us, what else comes with it? You're gonna get, you're gonna get, this is just a sampling. You actually get so much more, but baguette because yeah. bread, bread, fresh bread. Gonna, we include uh, two trays of bread mm -hmm. and then we include uh, three trays of cured meats and pick oh i can hear it bubbling can you hear it bubbling no yes maybe oh i'm so excited i don't know what the sound effect of bubbling is i don't know is. but i i like i don't know if you can maybe see if we were quiet for once so you could hear it okay but, so then on our tray we've got cured meats and you're pairing that richness with the richness they're both um a little bit fatty while the pickled goods because that's the acid that will cut through that fat on your palate and then make you want to go back for more oh baby you ready I'm and we ready. take our knife it's got one really sharp side and one not so sharp side the first scrape is always going to be the hardest because pressure's it's just, on oh, oh yeah look and i did this for you my love oh that is perfect now you know what we do on our date nights that is wonderful and then and then look we can go right back in on the same side or to make it even i like to go back and forth so one side to the other and that way you know the cheese can re kind of firm up here and get ready on this other side um balance you know what saw uh, how deep you want the cheese how close you want it to the burner that last piece got a little bit uh brown i like and that so part as this cheese starts to warm up play with it become an expert in your own wheel of uh, or a clet here because every wheel is different which is the beautiful part about this food is even though it's the same french raclette that we offer from the same brand every wheel is going to be slightly different some will be made with fresh pasture some will be made in the winter with more dry uh, food uh, so while this is melting you know these boards here you're going to get three of these charcuterie and pickle boards um, and what we like about this acid right and umami this is part of the experience. This cheese is rich and decadent and bold. And so cutting through with some of the pickles. Okay, I'm gonna show the... you my favorite bite. Cause oh, yeah. clearly putting it on baguette is easy, but here's my favorite bite y'all. And this is good for those of you who are gluten-free or just wanna keep all your calories on your cheese. Um, okay, you melt your cheese um, and I put a little pickle in there. It could be the pepidou pepper or this little cornichon and I wrap it in my prosciutto or speck. Mm. That's right. my favorite bite. So, as there we go. I know I get my favorite. Get to work on my favorite bite. As an event host, you may decide that it's more fun to have this set up on a counter that is kind of walk up that people can mix and mingle, or you, at a uh, we, what we often do at a seated table for six or eight, and then one person kind of becomes the designated scraper. And you want to make sure that that person is well loved and they can handle the make just keep their wine glass full making sure that nobody gets skipped too many times and hey. and so what am i drinking just so you know of course if you sparkling water is always good especially with cheese because it's palate coating and rich as we said so sparkling water will always cut that but typically served is a vin de savoie so a wine of the savoie region or but it's um it could be red or white but always a really good dry wine so we've got a nice dry white here um again that acid is marrying with the richness to cut through we're getting a full sensory experience here i think food tastes best when you can engage sight sound smell touch taste and listen and taste and all of the above so yeah those oh, bubbles y'all that was so good and so this is our raclette experience at home uh, we encourage you to give it a shot, have some fun with it. You can pull out any fun things of your cabinet, mustards, mustards go great with all of these goods. So pull out mustards, jams, add fresh fruit, whatever you want. Sometimes you, I like a little salad on the side, but well, really you have what you need right here to make it happen. I actually recommend uh, definitely doing a salad with a vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. It helps, you know, that the break, we often use kale. Yep. Um, and then also traditionally boiled potatoes, like, or, or roasted potatoes. Yep. So definitely incorporate some of those um, uh, foods into this traditional dish. And you guys are gonna have a great time and thank you for joining us. Wish you were here with us in this space. I don't know, then we'd have to share our cheese. That's fair. That's All right, fair. happy recletting y'all.